Hey fish friends, we're back with another video and I am finally ready to give you guys another tour of the room. So we've had a lot of things change and a lot of new fish come in that you haven't been introduced to yet. So we are going to feed everybody today. We are going to feed the turtles and we are going to feed my Pac-Man frog. So stay tuned if you guys want to see all the new things that we have in the room and some of the old things eating. Hey fish friends, I wanted to sit down. I'm literally on the floor. You can see the angel fish right here, this 40 gallon breeder. These are baby angel fish that are like five weeks old now and they're pigs and they're beggars and that is what they are doing. So I have a lot of fans going. I'm trying to talk loud, but not too loud because this is my fish room, you know? <laughs> so here we are this tank up here is my blue lemon and albino corydora breeding colony so this is a 75 gallon there's a 29 gallon right here above my head a 15 gallon on the side of it and four tins behind me and if you want to know what's in there you're gonna have to watch the rest of this video so I just wanted to sit down and tell you guys what's up. Like, I started YouTube, I don't know, last year. We did a few videos, we got 100 subscribers. You guys are like the OGs. Hopefully you're super excited that this video came out, but uh, I don't know. Please like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends if you think it's cool. So. We're gonna go around and I'm gonna show you all the stuff I've been working on. And really I can't say I took a break because I really only made a few videos. So we're gonna go back at it. I'm holding myself accountable for having at least one video out a week. And our shop kitty, Des Kitty, she is here to say hello. She is our kitty out here, and she is such a good kitty out here. She's my little baby. So, she'll always, if I'm on the floor, if I'm cleaning a tank, like this is, she's like, you should hold me, right? So, yeah. Okay, baby. So I wanted to show you guys this, this thing I have in my hand. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys this food. Now I have cat hair all over it, but um, I got this food and I'm really excited about it because it's youngster growth and it's like really hard to get here in America. So we're here in Indiana. So if you guys are close and you want to come see the room, comment and you know, or if you guys aren't close and you want fish shipped, comment because I have a lot of different kinds of fish available right now. But without further ado, I just took the lid off of this stuff and I wanted to show you that it's like Play-Doh consistency and See, if you guys can see that that's a little fish stamp yeah look at that is that not the cutest thing ever and it's youngster growth so I got this for my L066 fry that I just had so they are not free swimming just yet I have 15 of them left so this is my first spawn and I'm all new to this so it's all just 
learning experience for me. Uh, we've been working in the fish room now for about a year and a half and things have really changed. Things have really, uh, some stuff that I thought was going to work didn't work and some things that I thought weren't going to work worked and you know, I'm here to share my experiences with you guys and really just show you all the really cute animals that we have and just if you guys have any questions and you want to learn more about something, comment and we will make a video about it in the future. Hopefully we can get to all of those if we end up having a lot of people request, but I will do my best to try to make a video on everything that you guys have questions about because I want to help you learn more about your fish or your aquarium even if you're just like keeping plants like or snails or whatever you're into freshwater wise I'm not really the salt water girl yet I love salt water I think it's beautiful but it's very expensive and it's just I'm only 24, so I, I've i been in the hobby for about, well, I've been in the hobby all of my life, but I've not really been, like, actually understanding, like, what I was doing until, like, five years ago, and then I started learning from Corey from Aquarium Co-op and really got, like, into it. I, I had a 55-gallon and I had a goldfish and my goldfish got sick and that's when I started really learning about like a lot of the pet stores around us are selling you parasite fish and fish that are sick and fish that are basically going to go home and die if you don't take care of them correctly so I feel like I really want to make this channel informative for you guys I want to make it something where you can come here when you have a question but in the meantime like you know we're just gonna show you some cool stuff some cool things and and I'm gonna tell you about like my experiences because this is all this is is my personal experience and take it for what it's worth all right so we're gonna continue going around the room and just showing you guys everything that we have and Hopefully, you guys are excited. <laughs> so this here is my 60 gallon cube Aquion tank. Uh, it comes with a lid. It is rimless, as you can see. And in this tank, I have my pair of angelfish from Angels Plus, Steve Rebicki. I hope I didn't butcher his last name but I probably did so I have these guys in here and I'm gonna give you an in-depth on the tank and just show you really good what else is in here and yeah so you can see here the angelfish on the left is the female and the angelfish on the right is the male some really nice plants in here. We have some water wisteria, Amazon sword, twisted valisneria, some kabamba and guppy grass, and actually a lily bulb as well, but it's kind of hard to see at the moment. So I'm gonna get these guys food and we'll film them eating. Looks like the male is gonna go back and hide, but here is the female. There he is. And I just fed them Viper Bites, and now I'm going to throw in some blackworm pellets and some bug bites 
for the bottom feeders. And of course my female is going to go gawk over there and try and eat one, but... Beautiful pair. We've already sold some babies from this pair, so... Moving on. So this here is one of my Snow White Plecos. I have eight of them in here. They're all pretty juvenile still. They haven't started showing who will be. Here we go. A breeding colony and some juvenile. Orange Venezuelan Corydora in here. And here is my beautiful Koi angelfish pair. So you can see here on the left is my female and on the right is the male. So we have some really beautiful plants in here and some ram's horn snails. Yeah, all in all this tank has been set up for, I'm not sure, probably a year now. So the angelfish have not been in here that long, but All right, so we're gonna move on to the next one. Here's another shot of the Snow Whites. They're fat, as you can see. So I had to just throw the black worms in so I could film for you guys because it the camera kept falling over. I'm feeding them black worms, but this is my two female discus. I'm not sure if they are both female or not, but right now I haven't had any successful batches. It might be because my pH has been a little too high, but I'm not sure if it's an actual contributing factor or if I just have two females. As you can see, they're really beautiful. So we have two albino red ear sliders and they are about a year old now. One of them uh, came to us pretty sick and she is not as grown as the other one, but they are the same age. So today they've already had their protein for like yesterday, so today I am just going to give them some duckweed, so stay tuned to watch them eating some duckweed. Whoa! He almost bit me. <laughs> what a stinker. Or she, I guess. This is Pikachu. They're both females, so she almost bit me. You run. You run.
So this is Olive. She's a little shy. We just got her up from a nap so that she could eat. She doesn't like to feed in a container, so I put her in her water dish. There she goes. So this tank here is my 75 gallon Hypen Sistress L33 Plecos. The male is in the cave and the female is back there hiding. So I'm just going to drop these guys in a few flakes and then we're going to move on to the next tank. I said flakes but we're actually going to be feeding Ken's fish food. So I got this from Ken's fish. He's awesome at making really nice high quality foods. And this is the ultimate catfish dinner. So I highly recommend this food if you are trying to spawn your hyphen sisters. So here we go. We're going to feed. So I only have a pair in here. I'm only dropping in one, two, three, and four. I drop it right where they like kind of hang out and they won't be out during the day, but they will come out and eat that once I turn the light off. So I just threw in some brine trim for these guys, but they are the babies to my pair and this is my first actual like successful batch right here um i've already sold off about half of them but the rest i have thought about keeping uh and letting them pair off so it's a really nice looking black one right there i think there's two in here that i 
won't continue their lineage, but the rest are really nice looking. So stay tuned to see how these guys grow out. So I just wanted to show you guys these tangs. I'm not gonna feed like on camera because it's a little difficult to do just by myself, but I just wanted to show you the 75 gallon and my super red plecos are in here. I have some albino sortail females and a batch of babies up here in the top. Big, big Amazon sword. If you guys are looking for Amazon swords, I have lots of them and they are available. So there's our DIY CO2 and here is my blue lemons and my albino Corydora. Don't mind my Anubias, it's looking drab because CO2 hasn't been on recently. So there is one of my, my only female longfin, blue lemon. And down below, we have a scud tank. So this is where all of my little scuds come from. I have another tub that I keep them in too, but this is the original tank they all came from. Over here is my babies. These are baby angelfish that are about five weeks old. And they've already ate this afternoon, I think, so I'm not going to be overfeeding them at the moment. I just wanted to get a little filming of them. Aren't they adorable? I'll show you their bigger siblings eating here in just a minute. So in this tank, I have a muck guppy running around, or I guess it's an albino guppy, but I have some baby paleatus corridors and I just fed some brine but I don't think you're gonna be able to see them really eating it they're pretty small but here's some footage of them so we are on the rack that I was sitting behind and in this tank here I have a few Germans from a successful Raising I have uh, I think four blues and one dark night out of this batch And he is eating some brine too They're so small I'm not able to pick it up, but there's their tank This is my killifish tank. I have some I'm going to butcher the name, but Northobronchius, possibly. <laughs> Killifish, so they're dirt layers. And then here is one of my shrimp tanks. So this tank is completely overran by hornwort, but I did just feed them, so hopefully they'll all be just up here eating here soon. So I feed my shrimp, shrimp baby, and I also feed them this Sarah shrimp food. So today this is what I'm going to feed the shrimp. So I'm going to drop this in and then I'm going to film them finding it. These are mostly orange shrimp in here. So I did feed them, sorry for the glare. There's some sabosser tong growing in there and shrimp back there. So these, this is where I've been growing out my surprise Lemmy Aprugia that I have. So I am going to be feeding the Lemmy Aprugia some Dr. Basilier, the garlic formula in medium. 
I love this food. All the fish love this food and makes me feel better knowing that it has a little bit of a garlic additive in it. So here I'm gonna feed them. I'm gonna throw the camera around and you guys can watch. There's six of them in here and they're such beggars. There are also some blue mystery snails in here and I'll throw them a tab in, but. So I'm trying not to get a glare on this video, but it's not happening. So I thought I'd show you guys kind of the situation. It's crazy in here. I've got a lot of reflection from the 10 gallons that we just looked at and I'll show you guys that there's a ton of shrimp in here. <laughs> so I'm gonna move on to this tank that has maybe a little less reflection. There is a guppy in here. There's also a ton of shrimp in here, just some wild, some blues. Again, sorry, all the reflection. It's hard to film in the fish room, but there's that rack completed. This tank that is over here, there's nothing in there right now. In this tank, I have some serious cleaning to do, but these are my red eye tetra. So as you can see, there's a lot of algae. I'm just gonna throw in some blood worms. Cleaned them up. I should give them a little more. Alrighty. So the other 20 gallon down here by the red eyed tetra is my starry night cichlid and she is my baby. So her name is Loida. I'm not even sure honestly if it's female. She's not very big so I don't really, I'm sure she's big enough to know but I haven't seen the breeding tube or anything like that to tell you she's hiding right now behind the sponge filter but I'm gonna show you what I feed her so there's a little bit of algae on the glass I apologize for that but really doesn't hurt her and the extra nutrients is being taken up by something I'm keeping a dip like a black lid on here so she just doesn't have to be so like in the Sun so she's gonna come up and eat this piece of food that is my girl. Here she goes. So these little Corydora had some black worm pellets. And they're sharing with the snail in here. These are pygmy salt and pepper Hasbrosis Corydoras. So again, I'm not gonna film a lot of the like random fish eating. I'm just gonna show you some tanks. This tank here is a 15 gallon. It's got some Mutt Guppy in it and it's got some shrimp and some random plecos that have made their way. So it uh, just sits here by the window, doesn't even have a light on it and does just fine. I have some platy in here. Sorry again for the glare. This is the 29 gallon that I was talking in front of earlier. Just some platy and mystery snail. So we already talked about this rack and we talked about the angelfish and the 60 gallon. I'll show you guys these fish down here. I have one surviving Montez or Rio Otapa swordtail. So she's a female, I'm hoping to get some more of them. And here I have my beautiful berry. He is German. 
a Dark Knight German Blue Ram. Right next to the Corydoras. And underneath here, I have another pair of Dark Knight Rams. So this tank at the top here is my long fin and short fin paleatus corridors. And I have some tetra and a random guppy in here. This is just a temporary holding place for these guys while I work out something else. This tank over here with the light off is my L066s and they just spawned last week. I'll show you. It's hard to get a clip of them, but I will show you. There is some fry in there, if you can see. So these guys have been hatched for a week today. There's 15. So I got this pair from Shooter's Fish Room, shout out to him. And here is my male. My female is back there hiding. So in the tank below, so this is our 640 breeder rack setup. In the tank below, Number one is number three, and this is my Sturbe Corridora. I'm hoping they grow out and give me some eggs, but and then I have my Koi Guppy in here. In the tank below that directly, I have a couple spawns from my blue lemons.
And I'll show you the tanks aside. I have my albino long fin plecos in here and some salt and pepper and black molly. And above that is my tank that I will be transitioning to the Lemmy and Perugia tank after the swap me, but I need to get rid of some Corydoras before then. So not much to see there. Right next to it, I have my long fin and chocolate grow out. Sometimes I get short fins in this too, but for the most part it's long fins and this is a 100 gallon trough. So just making it easier to grow these out a little more quicker. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and subscribe to our channel please we will be uploading at least once a week I'm hoping to shoot for two times a week so thank you bye bye